Uh, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of EU4 Scandinavia. So, guys, we're back here in, this, uh, in another episode of this, where we will be doing more stuff that involves, you know, kicking out rebels and colonizing. Um, and apparently, the Ottomans had to spit out Bulgaria. So, everyone, Bulgaria is in the game. Yippee! And right now, I'm improving relationships with... Uh, uh, friends right here, they're almost ready They're almost ready to become our vassal. We just need to increase them just a little bit longer um, Once we get vassalization, I'm hoping that we can get what I want uh, Which is complete another annexation and then random then it'll be kind of funny because then randomly in the middle of Bohemia we'll have a gigantic and randomly in the middle of this you'll have Randomly in the HOE you'll have a big gigantic section of uh, Bohemia which means we actually will be closer to the action in terms of people, but to just to become our vassal, let's see. Negative. Scanning it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me! Ah, oh, got to be kidding me! Gosh, I really. Mm, I wish you would have told me that earlier before I started like investing all this time and effort into them. Because would have totally not gotten them on if they had done that, but anyways. I'm just going to like I guess I'm gonna to try to make I think I'm gonna to try to do an opposite sense and since the Hansa actually have a decent sized army, I'm actually gonna to try to make friends with them. Because I think they'd be better as friends than as enemies. So we're just gonna, you know casually improve relationships with as many people right next to us as we can. Because right now we're, we're military tech 19, I think, and everyone else is using military tech 18, and the French finally connected the lands. I'm really hoping they go to war with Portugal. That's the war I'm waiting for right now. I'm waiting for them to go to war with Portugal so they can start crushing the um, Russians and all that, but I don't Might be a little bit. I might have to wait a little bit, but anyways, uh, in all in the colonial sense, we have lots of colonies going on around right now, but the Cameroon colony is the closest to being done with 871 people in its midst. And let me just make sure that I am, uh, what is it, managing all my cores. Yes, I am. About to get a new core, which is going to be sweet. And converting the faith again is really hard, because right now we only have 90% religious unity. That's better than most, but it's still not great. And Elias from Pesquav. I thought you guys were underneath the, uh, oh no, it seems like you guys are no longer a vassal of the, uh, Muscovian Empire. Hmm. How are you guys in terms of religion? Well, hmm. I think, if, okay, this might be risky, guys. What I could do is have a diplomat free. Let's see. Stop improving relationships with the Hansa. I know I just said that, but... What I could do is maybe, you know, make the Pesquav our vassal. Um, I could do it, I could do it like jerkily, or I could do it like um, freely. Which freely would be um, what I'm going to do is just fabricate a claim onto them. Well, marriage, no. Wait, let's see. Would they accept that vassalization? They would accept vassalization, but um, not the same religion. <sighs> At least one more positive than negative reasons for an acceptance. You currently have. Wait, so they will, they would actually accept vassalization right now? Let's do royal marriages because I want to see this. Okay, yeah. I want to see this because this could mean if I could actually get you guys as a vassal, that'd be really nice. Okay, nope. We have to wait for my diplomat to come back. Nope. Oh, I see our relationships aren't that up that high. I have to wait till May 9th before I can do anything. So, anyways, that's going to go on there. Um, our colonies are doing pretty well. And new revolts, of course. Let's see, how big this... Holy shoot, they just destroyed my new cannons. I feel so bad for my cannons right now. That, that was kind of a mean move right there. You just destroyed my cannons. They weren't even, like, properly in an army yet. You just destroyed them. Gosh, what a, like, what a, what a mean issue. 
border dispute between Muscovy. Oh my gosh. Muscovy is going to hate me, but I am not going to take a stability hit for them. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. I don't care if they hate me for the rest of the, rest of the years. I'm just not going to take a stability hit for them. Okay, so let's let's just get them. Let's just get all of our men united. Yep, have a conquest causes Bela against Muscovy that I could use right now. Would be a terrible, terrible, terrible idea because they would just demolish me. Um, let's try to improve relationship with Pekov. Maybe I can get. I'm I'm thinking maybe I can get past this. Uh, this uh, what is it called? Dynasty. Uh, you know, same religion type stuff. Maybe I can get past it. Maybe. At least that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking in my head. Maybe I can get past it and, you know, kind of move on from there. Anyways, we have more rebels, but that should be stopped by our lovely... Guys, go crush the rebels, please. Don't just sit there on your butts. I don't like that. Like, seriously, go... go. Yeah, go take care of business. <sighs> okay, colony becomes self-sustaining. Hooray! Cameroon, now let's get some good stuff right there. Build up this buildings. I can't build the buildings until I court, so we'll court next time. I mean, we'll court first and then we'll get the building I want, which is a level 2 fort. That way, rebels can't just destroy everything and conquer everything. Really terrible thing. Alright. So, with this colony guy, what should I do with him? Oh, I know what to do. I know definitely what to do. I think I'm going to finish up colonizing up here. Because, like I said, um, there's a couple ways you can actually get into America through here. So I want to kind of stop that, so we're just going to send some colonies up here to kind of, you know, make sure that no one else can get over here and, you know, somehow get into America. That would be a terrible, because I've, I've basically set America as being Scandinavian. I mean, we kind of named it our own thing called New Vinland, so it'd be kind of good if we keep it that way. And let's see, buildings cost... Missionaries. Missionaries are doing pretty good right now. Oh, I'm not sure though. I'm learning, although at the same time I'm doing this, I'm also learning a lot about like EU4 and all that. Because I'll be honest, I didn't quite understand EU4 as I should have, but I'm starting to really, really pick it up now that I'm like playing constantly in this game. Like a lot of things in EU4 confuse me, but I'm starting to really get it. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to go send an entire, my entire death stack to make sure I keep on that stupid province. So the Empire has enacted that we form another one. Oh shoot, Italy is not hated by the same country. Oh gosh. That is not good. I, I think I think the HRE is going to be forming this game. Yep. I, I think the HRE is probably gonna be forming this game. Um that is not good. It, it's that is not good at all. Like if if there's any if there's a rating from good to bad that is almost terrible. Because if the HRE forms, that means we could potentially have a situation where we'll, how we'll be dealing with not just a big gigantic Austria, but a big gigantic huge HRE right next to our borders, which will probably become land hungry because I've made them angry multiple times. So that's that's not good. Um, over here we have. A, a decent sized armies, which is what I was kind of hoping for. A lot of Muscovian armies, actually. And now that we have that, I'm hoping that what we can do with it is use it to, like, let's see. Are you who are you guys allied with? So I want to see if I can attack either him or here, the Hansa or one of these two. So let's see. Because that's the whole reason why I'm getting this alliance. Let's see. You are allied directly with France, so I probably will not declare war on you. You guys are allied with no one I really like, but no one would oppose to me declaring war on these. Hesse, Hesse, yeah, Hesse is just a two-province minor, but the problem is, is these guys right here. Yeah, it's these guys right here, the infamous Austrians. If the Austrians can somehow live, then they'd be very bad. By the way, did you guys... Oh, dang it, I thought they'd broken their personal union, so I was like, yes! Um, but, hmm, do they hate each other? No, they kind of like each other. That stinks. I was hoping maybe these guys would go to war, but maybe they might be friends. That is even a scarier thought. Hmm. Seems like my world conquests are just going to have to wait for a little bit. Well, at least I have more alliances. At least I have more alliances now. At least more people like me. Mohawk is now revolting against me. That's not good. 
I just realized I only have like one army over there right now. So, yeah, you guys. You guys are officially the protectors of like the entire... <laughs> oh gosh, that is a lot of land they have to guard. Like, seriously. Two diplomatic relations, that'd be nice. Let's get to two diplomatic relations. Alright. And, yeah, just keep... We're just gonna keep moving down this technology tree. And, oh, we got uni, uni, the Union and Security Act. And we also got all these rich Swedish traditions. Swedish maintenance, infantry ability. Oh, gosh, I think we just got major stuff happen to us, guys. Oh, gosh. Loose stability. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I don't think it's ever going to destroy the colony. I don't have enough to destroy the colony, so I won't have to worry about that. But yes! We got all this cool modifiers. This is really awesome, like, seriously. We just finished up our Swedish ideal, so now... When we, buy, when we buy mercenaries, they won't cost that much to us anymore, which is nice. So let's see, we got missionaries now. Enemy of Ebony. Enemy of our enemy is bugging you, so we should be our friend. Reclaim Revel. Reclaim Revel. Um, who are you allied with right at this moment? France. No. <laughs> Terrible idea. Okay, maintain shipping routes. Tariff efficiency not gonna do. I mean, enemy of enemy. <sighs> okay. These aren't really that good of missions. I'm just gonna say that now. Um, because I would love to reclaim Revel. But the problem is, is that uh, they're allied with France, and France could easily come and go kick my butt. And as much as I would, the Netherlands, I'll, I'll just put it bluntly, the Netherlands would be a terrible ally in, this, in that war. They would get the, they'd get completely destroyed, and I'd have to come in and go save them. Which is not personally something I want to do in my free time as a state. So, yeah. Okay, we got new places I can add. Oh dang, I was about to build it there. Okay, we can have new places that have uh, not been lit. Go right there. And what else should we do? Courthouses, local production, efficiency. Let's build some courthouses. Uh, one right here in Odenstein. Oh, I built one right there. Let's see, marketplaces. Build some more marketplaces. Okay, let's go. I mean, our country our country's actually looking pretty good right now. I think you were still 8th right now in terms of total power, but I think we're still doing pretty good. Like, I think we're still, honestly, honestly doing very well in this game. I'm still though, all these alliances are really hurting us. Hungary has declared war on Bulgaria, expansionist, conversion successful, we just got a conversion done, that's good. Wait, does that mean we get to see where to convert next? Oh, well, the only place to convert is right over there, and that's not going to work. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to have to wait a little bit until we have a little bit more free time. Or I should say, until we got these freed up, so we can start doing that. And we want, what do we want? When do we want it? Now. Benign neglect, local trade power, tax modifier. Tax modifier always seems like the best. Like, who would not accept tax modifier? It's like the best. And my random bits of colony everywhere just like kind of disturbing me a little bit. Okay. Now that you guys are done with that, build a, uh, do, do do Yeah. Okay, and we lost the Battle of Mohawk. Somehow. Oh, these guys, I think, are actually trained soldiers. Hmm. Give me one second. Give my soldiers one second. Go attack. We should be able to defeat them. Oh. So let me try this. Keep our men at full... No? We're losing still? Okay, these must be... Okay, those are those are natives I've never dealt with before. I've never seen natives easily be able to stand up to me. Hmm. We're gonna... I'm gonna have to worry now. Cause that's scary. That's not... Uh, that's not in the usual. I'll admit that right now. That is not usually what happens. We usually can defeat the natives with... Almost ease. Oh, no. Okay there, sorry guys for saying the game froze. So I had to like un but the funny thing was that the only way to unverse it was I had to unfraps everything and then fraps it back again. So what's that that's 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 a fancy way of saying base tax. Um Yay, our colony became self-sustaining over here. Yay! And now I will find reasons to declare war on you. Okay? 
Uh, let's see. Let's see, do I still have a royal marriage? No, I don't. Yes! Okay, fabricated claim. Fabricated claim on sofa. Okay. Now that we have this... Oh, shyster. I think I know... Ooh, that's not good. I think all my ships died. Like, I think I wasn't monitoring them, and so they all just died. Uh, shoot. <laughs> that kind of stinks. I did not intend for that to happen, and these these 4,000 Mohawkian troops are really kind of annoying me a little bit, like, to be honest. Okay, there we go. There's my, like, expertly Scandinavian army. Where were you guys before? Seriously. Okay, you guys are done. Start coring it. Okay. Let's get over here and start sending, like, massive colonies over here, because I just want to get this all done with. We can also send a colony right there, too. So I want, I want to make sure, I guess at a sentimental value, I want to make sure Norway's a part of us. Because, you know, they, they've been a part of us for so long. They, they just have to be. Like, new, this, just, Greenland just has to be our friends. And apparently Netherlands has broken our alliance, and we can either gain three, inf you know what, three inflation. Let's get the three inflation. Because I can actually afford three inflation, because that doesn't take that long for us to convert back. And, da 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 da, we'll convert some more provinces. We can convert Hogenstein, which will take so dang long. I don't. I'll wait until we can get these three provinces right here, and then I'll start going after that. Because that's just. It's a little bit too long. Like a core. Alright, but yeah, because it's a, it's a little bit too long for the other thing, so. We'll wait until we have a core right there before we do anything, and. Down here, we'll be able to just crush them easily. And let me make sure, they're still the richest people in the game. I'm pretty sure they are, but just to make sure. Yep, Swahili is still the richest. In fact, the Inca are also pretty much getting up there. I should also think about the Inca. Uh, no, it seems like the Great British are already thinking about the Inca, so never mind. <laughs> never mind. And, yeah. Let's just continue on. Cool. Millions of ships. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my, like, ships just were destroyed somewhere. I don't think I have them anymore. It's kind of stink. Because I did like my ships. Okay. You guys, go down here. By the way, did I ever convert all these cultures? Oh, no, I never did convert any of these cultures. Whoops. <laughs> I guess I completely forgot about that. Let's convert these two cultures right here so that they will become more... Swedish, I guess, is the word I should be looking for. These guys will take a long time to march all the way down there, but it'll be worth it, because then they'll have... They'll have uh, instant land access. I do love I do love the fact that we have land access from all the way up in New St. James, all the way down to Mesoamerica. It's so interesting. And more rebels are getting mad at me. So Great British will either hate me or lose it. Uh, I don't really care about diplomatic power at this point. Well, actually, I look at my... Let's look. How much are we still ahead? Are we behind? Okay, we're slightly bit behind in diplomatic power. That means... Let's see. Um... 15, 18, 19. 19, 18, 18. Uh... Let's see. We're ahead of everyone. What are they talking about? Like, we beat Muscovy right now in terms of diplomatic power. Like, what the heck? It was showing me like I was really bad. Okay. I've improved my relationships as much as I could. Portugal is now new enemies. Okay, let's see. Right, who are your enemies, rivals, Pomerania? I should already have enemy of enemy, right? Enemy of enemy, royal marriage, border frictions. That should go away with the border frictions. All right. All right what else could I do to help them? Do we have an alliance? Let's go. Let's go get an alliance next time we're done. So that they'll like us even more. Okay, and probably, and by the way, if people are saying that I really couldn't do this at all, um, yeah, I know, I probably am, probably am wasting my time right now. But I just want to see if I can do this. Okay, and then I'll go send a gift next. Uh, grant privileges, or grant, let's do this diplomatic. <laughs> oh gosh, my diplomatic just got to negative, that's not good. I've, I've never seen diplomatic negative before, but that's pretty interesting. Okay, um, send a gift to them. I can send... Okay, it caps out with 25, so what's the lowest I can go without? Okay, so the lowest I can go is... 
75. Let's send 75 to them. Let's see. Do they... What do they think of me now? 85. Oh, so close. Local tax modifier. Oh, so close. Okay, is there anything else I can do? Because that's like right there. Seriously, that's like right there. I just need one. Uh, I just need five more. Proclaim guarantee. I think that's what I'll do next time to get this. And sorry, guys, we are out of time. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.